So now we have established the um, moist unit weight in terms of the specific gravity, the moisture content, the unit weight of water, and the void ratio. So as for the dry unit weight, we can write Ah, okay. So, you can still simplify this. So, specific gravity times the unit weight of water times 1 plus the moisture content all over 1 plus E. And so, this is the final form of the equation. And then, next is the dry unit weight. So, again, the dry unit weight, or gamma D, is equal to the weight of soil solids all over the total volume, which is equal to um, Gs unit weight of water all over 1 plus E. Or simply, we can um, set omega 0 and we will be left with this part. So, this is already this one. That, um, this one is already this one. So, this is the dry unit weight. So, the next relationship is the um, relationship among degree of saturation, void ratio, moisture content, and specific gravity. So, the degree of saturation is once again equal to the volume of voids all over the volume of water. And, I mean the volume of water all over the volume of voids. So from the Unit weight of water, which is equal to the weight of water all over the volume of water, we can express this one in terms of this one. So, you can write moisture content times specific gravity all over volume of water Oops. volume of water times the unit weight of water so cancel and then Volume of water is equal to moisture content times the specific gravity. So, we can substitute S is equal to the moisture content times the specific gravity all over the volume, volume of water which is equal to I mean volume of voids which is numerically equal to E so this is very easy to um, memorize because we can 
write this as this one and this is read as guess so this is a bit of a mnemonic device and lastly we have the saturated unit weight so when we say um, when we use the saturated unit weight it means that all voids are filled with water so saturated unit weight so this is denoted by gamma subset so gamma subset saturated is equal to the weight of soil solids plus the weight of water all over the total volume or the total weight of the soil over the volume but all voids are filled with water so we can write g sub s times gamma plus w times g sub s times unit weight of water all over 1 plus e but since we are dealing with a fully saturated soil we can write s is equal to 1 and then this would be the specific specific gravity times the moisture content is equal to the void ratio e so this came from this one came from this equation so we can substitute moisture content is equal to e all over gs and then this will become um, specific gravity times unit weight times 1 plus the moisture content w which is now e all over g sub s all over 1 plus e and then this will be cancelled if we will multiply this um, the specific gravity to this term and then we can write unit weight of water times the specific gravity gs plus e all over 1 plus e so there you have it you have the saturated unit weight so for densities regarding the moist dry and saturated density just simply use rho or the density of water instead of the unit weight of water so let us have example problem number one so we are given a moist soil sample with in which the total volume is equal to 1.2 cubic meters the moisture content is 8.6 percent the total mass is 2350 kilograms and the specific gravity of soil solids is equal to 2.71 first we are asked to determine the moist density so the unit weight is equal to the oh sorry we are talking about density so density Rho. This is equal to the mass all over the volume, which is equal to 2 2,350 kilograms all over the total volume, which is 1.2 cubic meters. 
So the density is equal to 100, uh, I mean 1958.33 kilograms per cubic meter. Next is the dry density. Raw dry. So this is equal to the mass of soil solids all over the total volume. So, let us recall that the total mass, M, is equal to the mass of soil solids times 1 plus the moisture content. So, you can write Ms is equal to M all over 1 plus omega. So, this is equal to um, M all over 1 plus omega times the total volume. Total volume V. And again, your uh, moisture content should be in terms of decimal, not in um, percentage. So, this is equal to 2,350 kilograms all over 1 plus 0 0.086 all over uh, times the volume cubic meters. So, you will get 1,803.2535 kilograms per cubic meter. So notice that the dry density is smaller than the moist density. So this is because the moist density has um, water in it as compared to the dry. So it has some additional weight as compared to the um, dry sample. Next is the void ratio. Let's see. So, void ratio, E, how are we going to get that? So, we already know the um, dry density. And then, the specific gravity is given. We know the density of water. And we also know the moisture content. So, we can get the void ratio in the equation for density. So, rho is equal to the specific gravity times density of water times 1 plus the moisture content all over 1 plus E. So, let us substitute the value, values. So, 1,958.3 kilogram per cubic meter. This is equal to 2.71. So, this specific gravity is unitless because that is a ratio of the um, material 
uh, I mean the ratio of the unit weight or density of the material to the um, unit weight or density of water. And then we have the unit weight of water which is equal to 1000 kilograms per cubic meter and then 1 1 plus the moisture content will be 1.086 and then the total volume or volume is equal to 1 plus E. So solving for E, we will get E is equal to 0 0.5028. So, D, porosity, N. So, let's just use the relationship. N is equal to E all over 1 plus E. So, this is equal to 0 0.5028 all over 1.5028. This is equal to... Zero point thirty three four six, and then we have the degree of saturation. We can use the Gress equation. So, G S times the moisture content is equal to void ratio times degree of saturation. So. Um, we have 2.71 times 0 0.086 is equal to 0 0.5028 times the degree of saturation. So, we can get S as 0 0.4635 or... 46.35% and lastly we have the volume of water in the soil sample so you can get the volume by using density of water is equal to the mass of water all over the volume of water. So, how are we going to get the mass of water? So, we will also consider the moisture content. This is equal to the mass of water all over the mass of soil solids. And, we know how to get the mass of the soil solids, which is equal to the total mass all over 1 plus the moisture content. And then, the, we can simplify this to the mass of water. can now be written as moisture content times the mass of soil solids, which is equal to M all over One plus omega. Okay, so let us return to this equation. You can write one thousand kilogram per cubic meter. This is equal to the moisture content zero point zero eight. 6 times the total mass which is 2350 all over 1.086
or 1 plus the moisture content all over the volume of water. You will get that the volume of water is equal to 0 0.1861 cubic meter. So next problem, we are given the following data for a soil sample. The porosity is equal to 0 0.4, the specific gravity is 2.68, and the moisture content is 12%. So we are asked to determine the mass of water to be added to 10 cubic meters of soil for full saturation. So, for the very first step, let us express the porosity N as the void ratio E. So, E is equal to N all over 1 minus N. So, this is equal to 0 0.4 all over 1 minus 0 0.40. So, this is rough, um, equal to 2 over 3. So, or 0 0.6667 and then let us find the moist density so this is equal to um, gs times the unit weight of water times 1 plus moisture content all over 1 plus E. And then, substituting the values, so 2.68 times 9.81. So let us express this in kilonewton. And if you want to express your um, unit weight in terms of um, newton, so just use um, 9,810 newton per cubic meter. And then 1 plus 0 0.12 all over 1 plus 0 0.6667 or 1 plus 2 thirds. And you will get that the moist unit weight is equal to 17. Point 6674 kilonewton per cubic meter and then for the saturated unit weight so this is equal to um, the unit weight of water times specific gravity plus the void ratio all over the total volume which is um, 1 plus E and then substitute the values 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter times 2.68 plus 0.6667 all over 1 plus 0 0.6 7 you make it Nineteen point six nine eight five kilo newton per cubic meter. So why did I get the um, moist and saturated unit weight? That is because this is the um, um, current moisture content of the soil, and this is the uh, I mean this is the unit uh, the current unit weight of the soil. And this is the unit weight that we want to achieve. So meaning, if we, 
if we subtract the moist unit weight from the saturated unit weight, we can get the um, weight of water to be added per 1 cubic meter volume of soil. So, the mass of water to be added can now be um, determined. So, this is equal to 19.6985 kilonewton per cubic meter minus 17.6674 kilonewton per cubic meter times so we are in kilonewton so let us multiply this to 1000 and then times the total volume of the soil which is 10 cubic meters and then since this this are expressed in weight and we want the mass so we have to divide it by the acceleration due to gravity and then we will get that the mass of water to be added to 10 cubic meter soft soil to achieve full saturation is equal to 2,070.4383 kilograms. So, this is the last example problem for this video. And the problem states that a saturated soil has a dry unit weight of 103 pounds per cubic feet. Its moisture content is 23% and we are asked to determine the saturated unit weight, the specific gravity, and the void ratio E. So, notice that um, the units are expressed in um, the English system so be careful in using the um, densities and unit weight of water and as well as the acceleration due to gravity so first let us um, calculate the saturated unit weight so we know that the y, the unit weight, is equal to the dry unit weight times 1 plus the moisture content. And we are asked to find the saturated unit weight. So we can write y sat is equal to the dry unit weight times 1 plus the moisture content. So, take note that you have to use the moisture content when the soil is saturated. So, this value will be the value when the soil is fully saturated. And um, luckily, it is already given in the problem. So, it is stated that the soil is saturated and it has the corresponding moisture content at full saturation, which is 23%. So, when it comes to other problems, be very careful because if there is a given moisture content, unless specified, so that is not yet the moisture content of the soil sample when fully saturated so 
saturated unit weight is equal to 103 pounds per cubic feet times 1 plus 0 0.23 and then saturated unit weight is equal to 126.69 pounds per cubic feet next here I have to find this specific gravity so we have to use two equations or relationships first is the um, The, the dry unit weight comma D is equal to GS times the unit weight of water all over 1 plus E. But, we do not know the specific gravity as well as the void ratio E. So, let's use another relationship. So, another one that we can use is Gress. So, specific gravity times moisture content is equal to void ratio times the degree of saturation. So, at full saturation, the moisture content is 23%. So, we can write GS times 0 0.23 is equal to E times 1. So, E is equal to 0 0.23 GS. And then, we can now use this one. So, 103 pounds per cubic feet is equal to GS times the unit weight of water which is 62.4 pounds per cubic feet all over 1 plus 0 0.23 G sub S and solving for the specific gravity we can uh, uh, we will find that the specific gravity is equal to 2.66 and for lastly for the void ratio e so we already have this one um e is equal to 0 0.23 times the specific gravity which is equal to 0 0.23 times 2.66 so e is equal to 0 0.6118